on home plate right now. <laughs> Thatcher Stone from Free Skier Magazine, standing at home plate in Fenway Park. Pretty incredible. I'm standing here with Noah Wallace, Devin Logan, two competitors this week. This whole day, I've been in this stadium since 10 o'clock in the morning and what is it Giving now? Giving tours it's to everyone. eight o'clock yeah. at night. <laughs> We've uh, made our way into every nook and cranny and it's been pretty incredible. Um, guys, let's talk about this thing. 140 feet tall, in reference, the green monster, the famed Red Sox green monster is 37 feet um, over there in left field. It's where uh, Dustin Pedroia donks home runs over that over that bad boy. You go up, you go past the John Hancock sign. Yeah, and it's then insane. you keep going. It's insane. You um, think you're almost there, then you just keep on walking. <laughs> yeah. Well, so everyone knows. Let's let's take take it through the experience here real quick. So obviously, here's the landing and the jump. After you go through the corral, you go to the back of the scaffolding setup. There's an elevator. For those that were wondering, there is an elevator. Um, we're not, they don't have to walk up all of those crazy flights of stairs. Um, and then the actual jump itself, Noah, I know that you, actually neither of you have ever hit a scaffolding setup before. First time. How is it, how does it compare to a normal park jump? Uh, the first time's a little nerve wracking. First time's a little nerve wracking. The drop in, sure. <laughs> yeah, the drop in is a bit steeper than your typical park because you gotta build speed. So when you're looking down, it's kind of intimidating for sure. But once you hit it once, it's it's so much fun. You just want to keep hitting it. Yeah, nice and poppy and super smooth on the transition, and then just comes out to this open area and it's just super nice. <laughs> Um, so I was talking to Joss Christensen a little earlier after a media event. He was saying that it's about 60 feet from the jump to the sweet spot. Sorry, we're getting out of the way for a shot. Last or practice here. Um, so Joss was saying that it's about 60 feet from the knuckle to, or from the takeoff to the sweet spot of the landing. Um, we'll definitely be seeing some pretty heavy doubles. Do you think that? The big question is, do you think anyone's going to go for the triple out here? I feel like someone is going to go for it, but they have to go real deep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty quick when you're in the air, for sure. Yeah. Um, so you guys had the first practice tonight. How did it go? Like, what are, what are the most difficult aspects? The in-run, the takeoff, the landing? I noticed here a couple of people were struggling it out down here at the bottom, and uh, it's kind of bumpy coming out of the transition here on the landing um. yeah the most difficult part is not slipping on the ground walking to the elevator <laughs> and then getting off the elevator and being able to see how far down it is for me personally I'm afraid of heights so I uh, I got up there like six times so that's an accomplishment of the night you know just getting used to the jump and hitting it a couple times and then and then Friday yeah, yeah. um D'Lo I know that you are obviously from New England. Um, what is the significance of this place to you? Some of the greatest baseball players of all time have stood right where we're standing right now. It's, I'm, as a Mainer, this one really touches my heart. I've uh, had a great time exploring this place all day long. Um, how do you, how does it feel to be in a stadium that's gonna have 25,000 people watching you ski? It's pretty wild being in a place that you see on ESPN and Sports Center and the great top 10 home run hits and then you get to stand on top and then see the big Fenway Park sign and get a perspective that no one else can get but we can. It's pretty wild so it means a lot and then again that crowd it's going to be cheering. I can't wait to see it on Friday. See the stands full. Oh yeah. <laughs> Noah? Well. I'm from the Pacific Northwest, but even I have like strong feeling of like all the baseball history that's gone down in this place. Big Poppy, Babe Ruth. I mean, you can go through the list of all the greats, and they play in this stadium. Yeah. Just to be skiing here is just wild. Yeah. I mean, just, just like going through like the halls in the locker room, just thinking like, wow. Like, that just gave me goosebumps. Like, wow. <laughs> that was deep. That was deep. No. Um, no, and also like you say, the perspective like. 
no one has ever really seen the city or this stadium from that point right yeah, there. Like, true. Yeah. you guys are up there. No one's ever been skiing in here before. Um, I'm sure that there's been snowball fights aplenty. Um, and who knows, maybe someone got a to bust it out of sled or a toboggan. Or, and obviously, there's been the Winter Classic, the hockey, uh, the hockey game. The Bruins played in here for the Winter Classic. They set up the ice arena in here and have a game. Um, but this is just unreal. Um, when else, when's another time we're going to get to jump in Fenway, you know? Oh, yeah. Hopefully again. <laughs> Hopefully again. Hopefully, again. Hopefully, again. Hopefully this day will come again. Um, and I hope I'm here to see it. But anyways, we're looking forward to the show. What, uh, what are you guys' plans? What's the strategy going into this? Um, my strategy today was get through the day, hit the jump, feel comfortable, and then we have some more practice on Friday. So did a couple of tricks just to get down the speed and feel uncomfortable, like in the jump. I was definitely very, very nervous the first time, but uh, hit it, got it out of the way, got the nerves out and feeling good. <laughs> Uh, my goals of the day was just to do a double in Fenway Park, <laughs> and that was pretty fun. Uh, had a couple of speed troubles at the start and kind of caved a little bit, but made the most of it at the end of practice, and yeah, happy to have a good time here. <laughs> well, that was definitely a different kind of double. Uh, would be a different kind of double. You're not <laughs> sliding into second base. Hopefully, you're not sliding on your double uh, coming out of it. So anyways, guys, it's been a special day. Looking forward to it. Best of luck in the comp. Thank you. And it's always fun to watch you ski, and especially in this place. It's cool. Go Sox. Go Red Sox. Woo! <laughs> Thanks, guys. Of Welcome. course.